Now, I've touched a little bit in the past about Opera, Vivaldi, and Brave. Uh, I left out Firefox, and honestly, in this video, I kind of wanted to just throw Firefox in at the start here. I love Firefox. I think if you like Firefox, you should use Firefox as it branches off. It's something that isn't controlled by Google, or at least the code base isn't by Google. It's their own thing. So having Firefox there to try and balance out some of the Chromium browsers is good. That said, I really hate Firefox's workflow and just the feel of it. It's just not for me. So that's why I never really show Firefox because I really don't use it. Um, I may use it on a, you know, a live USB or something like that. If it's there and I'm only using it briefly, I will. But with that said, I wanted to revisit this because I've had issues with Vivaldi and I'll show you this tweet that I made. And it was basically saying, Hey, the latest version of Vivaldi slowed my browsing experience down considerably. And I think it was a combination of like uBlock origin and Vivaldi and some of my extensions not playing nice because everything really just felt cumbersome and slow uh, after the last couple updates. So I've decided to move off of Vivaldi, and of course, I'm going to Brave, and you're going to see it all over the place, but not just the stable branch of Brave and not even um, the beta version of Brave. I'm going to nightly builds of Brave because there's a new feature in Brave that uh, I've always criticized Brave for in the past that they actually solve, and it's actually really good. So if you watch my past video about the three browsers in the Chromium space, you know, Opera, uh, Vivaldi, and, and Brave, that I really talked about. Brave, I love the aesthetics, I love the speed, I love a lot of things about Brave, uh, but I really hated the sync. And with the nightly builds, they're introducing Sync V2. And let's jump over the desktop and I'll show you this sync. Now it's only available in the nightly builds, not the beta build or the stable build yet, but I did really enjoy this. So if we just go into our settings and we go over to sync, you'll notice that you now have Sync V2. Now I have all these other uh, things I am doing right now, sync everything, and it'll actually just sync all of this before it would only sync bookmarks and even then it wasn't even that good of a sync uh, so having this again is just huge um, being able to sync my extensions being able to extend uh, the settings all of those things are, are really big for me so this was really nice now i do want to touch on some of the negativity surrounding brave as a lot of people shill brave and aren't upfront about it why do so many people like Brave or are constantly talking about it on YouTube? Well, a lot of this revolves around its crypto-based system. If you click the little link in the description that says invite from Chris Titus or whatever it might be down there, um, I'll get paid in BAT. It's called uh, cryptocurrency tokens. And basically, I can take that and exchange it out for real money. How much is this per month? Uh, I usually get somewhere in the neighborhood of about a hundred or so clicks, and then people that use Brave and you know get the tokens will pay me in Brave uh, or BAT, whether it be through my website, Twitch, YouTube. I get them from all over the place, and usually this equates to about a hundred to two hundred dollars a month. So it's not like a huge amount, but it's still a substantial amount. Be basically getting paid for. Brave. So I just wanted to be upfront about that right off the get go, why you see so many Brave videos, but I still love the browser and I'm maining it now instead of Vivaldi because of its speed. And also I really love the aesthetic, this just home screen. It feels good. I love the, you know, the little stats, the little time, beautiful wallpaper. Although I do customize this a lot. First off, I always remove show sponsored images. I guess you get paid a little more BAT by doing this, but I don't like any of the sponsored images I've seen. Um, so I just remove that. Uh, I usually show the stats. I usually hide the rewards. Um, and, you know, the rest of this, I just kind of go through. Um, I always disable Binance and Brave Together because Brave Together is like a video service and I'm like not interested at all. And then you can also customize this further. Uh, there's a couple more settings I like to do on my Brave browser. And if you look down here, like I like to hide the actual Brave Rewards button. And that's about it. Not too much here. Um, 
As far as ads and stuff, I basically have disabled most of the ad stuff as I don't care about that. Obviously, the more ads you watch from Brave, the more BAT you get, um, which you can give to your favorite content creator. But this is basically my setup, and, and I love this. And honestly, on my home button, I do do wide address bar, which isn't on by default, and also just add the little home button up in the top left here. This is just kind of my basic settings now, but I do enjoy this aspect of it. Now that I actually have a good sync, it's faster than Vivaldi was for me. I only have minimal add-ins here or extensions. I don't need an ad blocker or any of that because the built-in Brave ad blocker is really good. Like even if you go to my website, it actually blocks all my ads that I have on here. So <laughs> you get a really, really clean experience when you're on my website and you can easily just go through each one of these. And it does a really good job of cleaning it up, doing it in such a way that you're not adding extra bloat through extensions and things like that. And you're still getting a really clean experience uh, through any website. So obviously if you're on my website, try to not block the ads, but if you do, I get it. I hate ads too. And I even block them on my own website. Probably shouldn't tell you that, but oh well. <laughs> uh, needless to say, this is Brave. I wanted to just kind of showcase my settings, why I switched to it, and it's really for speed. And then also when I'm on the nightly build, I now have access to the new sync, which is fantastic. I It syncs all my extensions and everything that I need on each one of these is, is really good. So fixing that sync was one of the big drawbacks and why I never really used Brave before. So there you have it. That is a little brief overview of the nightly build of Brave. There might be some other tweaks in there, some other things they've added, but I just really love uh, the actual aesthetics of Brave and the speed. And now that I actually have a working sync, that's why I use it now. But I, I'm curious to see, what are your thoughts? I know a lot of people have some spinoffs that they really like. I, I do see a lot of people saying Water Fox and some other ones. A lot of the, the forks of Firefox I really don't like because they run so far behind in security updates that honestly, it'd probably be more vulnerable than using the standard Firefox. So for you Firefox users out there, try to use the stock one. Uh, a lot of the spinoffs are a bit more unsecure and not recommended, uh, but you know, to each his own. Obviously, I'm still using a Chromium-based uh, browser, and you know, I, I just like my workflow in it, and I like the feel of it. And at the end of the day, you need to choose what feels right to you. So with all that, let me know your thoughts, and a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.